Starting at center, the number 19, Jim Slater! Winnipeg Jets fans know Jim Slater as a hardworking center who scored a career-high 13 goals last year on the GST line. But did you know he's also a walking and talking encyclopedia about nutrition and healthy eating? Jet Setter asked him what he likes to do in his spare time during the lockout, and he told us he likes to go grocery shopping. That's right, grocery shopping. So, let's go shopping. Today, I'm looking to make a big purchase because we've got training camp coming up, and uh, you don't want to be running to the grocery store. You want to have your you know, mindset mainly on uh, you know, playing hockey and, and uh, you know, resting and doing all that. I'm a big, uh, big uh, believer in cooking at home and uh, enjoying some dinners and, and doing all that, so I like to go to the grocery store quite a bit. Okay, so where are we going this afternoon? My first stop is usually at, at Safeway. They have a pretty good organic section for uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. Then we go over to Vita Health. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I go to get mainly my meats and uh, some dairy products, and then over to uh, Gimli uh, Fish Market. This is the most ideal day to go grocery shopping. <laughs> so I pretty much know this store pretty good. I uh, always start with fruit and veggies, and then I'm, a, I'm an aisle shopper. Okay. So I, uh, I pretty much weave my way through, okay. all the way through. The one, the one uh, aisle I do skip, though, is the feminine products. So I don't go down that one. This is the organic section here in Safeway, but they actually have a pretty good, pretty good selection. So um, I just kind of start and just grab and feel around. And uh, I just grab, I like pears. I put pears in a lot of smoothies. Um, Apples go in a lot of smoothies for me, so bananas are always good to have. This is where you get your eggs. Eggs are always good in the morning for you. The organic probiotic yogurt, get some of that. Brown rice milk. Just stuff like this. These are, this is what I was talking about with the frozen fruits. Those are good for smoothies. Yeah, you know, good for that. So as you can see, my cart's pretty, pretty colorful, and they say if you have a plate of food, you want a lot of color on it, so that's what I try to do. This is my downfall here, yeah. This is like uh, the uh, chips and salsa here. Can never go wrong with that. That's one thing I do go crazy on. Yeah, this is just uh, mainly just your fruits and veggies. You see a couple chips on there, that's not bad, but uh, some milk, some yogurt, uh, just some things I use pretty much every single day um, at home and uh, just kind of this is what I do. It's pretty much the same thing every day. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of uh, difference in my in my uh, nutrition. So, so that's one of one of three done. Okay. So Jim, what do we got here? Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the meat section here. This is where I do a lot of my. Uh, cooking for uh, my meats. This is the chicken breast I'm talking about. These are the organic, they're the halal chicken breasts. They're not uh, uh, quite organic, but talking to the, to the owner here, it's the most humanely raised chicken that they have here, so. This is a, one of the main dishes I, I cook quite a bit. Um, sometimes I cook it the night before a game. This is, uh, these are these white rice noodles. They're really good. Uh, the way I put protein is there is I make tofu with it. Stir it kind of like a stir fry kidney beans, every kind of bean really I eat. And these are all organic beans. This kombucha, I really get into, try to have one of these a day. It's just great for your, for your stomach, your intestines. So that's pretty much my like afternoon coffee. Been a double double. Exactly. This is the bacon I get here. This is, I have the uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Biggest thing for me here is how it says no nitrates or nitrates added. Broccoli's great. Eat a lot of broccoli. Probably the single best uh, vegetable for you. One kiwi actually has more vitamin C than an orange. So, another staple in my diet is, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, it's called quinoa. I eat this pretty much every, every other night. Coming here, this is the second out of three of my, uh, of my stops, and uh, I've done pretty good so far, so. Okay, so here, I just uh, I like the pickerel here. Two bags of these, I usually eat a bag per serving, so it's a lot of fish in there, so I get a couple servings of those. These are the uh, crab cakes I was telling you about here. Real easy to put right in the oven. 
Saskatoon berries, high in antioxidants, real good for you. And that's, uh, that's my stop, just a quick one. Gotta see what I have here. See if I did a good job or not. I mean, you know what, I'm sure I forgot a few things, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I take pride in it, you know, my body and my health, and you know, it's, it's gotten me to this point, you know, in my career, and you know, hopefully, you know, if you take care of your body, you know, the old saying goes, you know, take care of your body, body take care of you, and hopefully I get a few more years out of it, uh, you know, in the league, and like I said, I feel good right now, I'm 30, so hopefully in uh, another 10 years, we can do another segment. All right, Yeah. excellent. Thanks.